This video will demonstrate how to use ControlM for advanced file transfer to connect to an FTP server over SSL and TLS. So here I am on my ControlM system. I've gone into the configuration manager and there's my ControlM for file transfer, it's version 8. I've opened the connection profile details and filled in the details of my FTP server that I need to connect to using SSL. If I now test the connection profile, I will see that it failed. The message is a rather generic one, failed to secure the control socket. To find out more about what happened, we can open the control agent proc log folder and look in the AFT underscore SSL log file. If I open this file, there'll be a numbered section of lines that all belong to one connection attempt. And we can see here the, the error that caused this was certificate verify failed. So AFT was unable to verify the certificate that the server sent us. And to do so, AFT needs to have the CA certificate of that server in its key database. So to find out what the CA certificate really is, we can use uh, the OpenSSL command. It's available on most platforms. OpenSSL, S underscore client, connect, then our hostname and port details, and then start TLS FTP, because we're connecting to an FTP server. If I press enter, OpenSSL is just gonna try to set up an SSL connection to that server, and it'll print all the details about this connection. The important bits are here, certificate chain. We can see this is the certificate all that this FTP server is using. It was issued by, and that's the CA that signed the server certificate. What we'll need is the, the public certificate of this CA. You should normally get that from the FTP server owner. So in this case, I already have it. I've got it here on my desktop. With the .cer extension in Windows, it will actually, actually recognize it. So you can double click it and show the details. And you'll see the same name, the same details uh, that were also shown in the OpenSSL command. So we can see that this is, this is the actual certificate that I need. So what I'll do is import that certificate into the AFT key database. I'm already in the uh, AFT data SSL search directory. This is where the key database is. This is the key database file. And we'll need to run the SSL command utility. The default password for this is cm4aft, all lowercase. I'll need to use option two, add CA, and then give it the certificate file name. So have a quick look at the properties, copy. Command successful. So now the CA certificate was imported into the AFTK database, so I can exit here, go back to my connection profile and test it. And now we can see we've resolved the problem. That's it. Thank you for watching this video out of the Workload Automation Support video series. Please check our YouTube channel or Knowledge Base for more videos like this.